Hey everybody, Joshua C here. Uh, in this video I'm just going to show you uh, the toolbox that I used to carry around and tote around in my job at the junkyard. So let's begin. Okay, in my top drawer I would have my little nut driver, a uh, flexible shaft. I just got this warranted so it's all beautiful. And also with this. Uh, I got a, a set of quarter drive metric sockets from 4 to 13. You don't need to go balls out and expensive with quarter drive because it's just low torque. So that. Another in addition um, that I would do is a deep set. But I luckily just got by without using that. I have a 2 inch extension and a 6, six inch extension. And I have another extra 6 inch just in case I needed to get. Um, if, if it was needed. Uh, my main ratchet was my quarter inch drive flex head. For 3 8 drive, once again, I have just a basic, uh, basic ratchet, nothing crazy. Uh, I've had this rudin rebuilt and they still break, but they, it's still a functional ratchet. So you don't need to go crazy on it. Uh, once again, a flexible extension. Uh, more 3 8 extension and a short extension as well. I have an upsizer um, from 3 8 to half inch. I also have another one, a uh, quarter drive to 3 8 upsize um, adapter and a spark plug socket, which actually in the junkyard I never ever used, but I just have it just in case I uh, do like service work on uh, like the equipment. Um, another useful tool would be a stubby. Phillips, I mean stubby Phillips and a stubby flathead. And here I have one of these, uh, you could switch them around. This 4-in-1 where they have the thin and a fatter flathead and they have a number 2 um, and a number 1 Phillips on the other side. Pretty sure you guys are familiar with this. This was my main used screwdriver. If that one didn't do the job, then I'd utilize this one and just a longer uh, number two Phillips. As you can see, these are not high dollar tools. You don't need to go crazy. Uh, basic set of metric Allens from four to 10 millimeter. Um, it would be nice to have a larger up to 14, um, but you, you decide on what you're gonna take to the yard anyway. Uh, just an El Cheapo set of Torx from I think T10 to all the way to T55. This is an excellent set. Just you know, based on the criteria that I, I needed it for, it it did the job plenty well. Here I have a set of wrenches, all metric from uh, six millimeter all the way up to 19. There are some skips, um, but I'll I'll get to that. Um, an adjustable, a slide wrench, an adjustable wrench, very useful for getting to like lines or maybe EGR valves, a short compact handle. I've actually used this more than I thought I, I would. Uh, excellent. This is just a Husky that I've used so much that the, the writings weren't off, but excellent tool. My goodness. This, I believe, is a Harbor Freight uh, 35, I mean 45 degree bent nose. Man, I've used this tremendous amount. And uh, I, I've, I've twisted it and I've stuck it in a vise to rebend it. Excellent. This is a must, must have for getting over uh, hose clamps or whatever you need, pinching stuff off. Uh, I must say, I must preface this with these tools is in the junkyard. I mean, a lot of these, these, a lot of these parts are going to get abused. You know, people cut shit. You know, it's, it's just with stuff like this, you, you pretty much just rip, literally rip and and and. Uh, it, it's just, it's just, it is what it is. <sighs> okay, for these pliers, these are the best set of side cutters that I've had, uh, I've ever come encounter of. I've had a snap-on one. Granted, it's a vintage one, but this is this is my new go-to set. Uh, I've this is literally after two days of use, and these things are still awesome, just awesome. You can cut valve cores with them, just bang, bang. Uh, wiring uh, yes so now let's get on to the second level okay here we're on the second level so this bin is what I used to put like customer parts or whatever I needed so that's why I needed this big tub uh, hammer 
This is just a heart. This is actually a framing hammer that I use for construction. Um, if I actually hammer, <laughs> if I've used the shit out of this, this is cool. But it uh, works very good in automotive too, because you can get a good quick swing. It's just, uh, it, I, for me, it, it feels better than like a big heavy sledge. I could, uh, anything that the weight of the head can't compensate, I could compensate with a, uh, a faster swing. This, this is, everyone needs this, a cheater pipe. Now, it's best to get, uh, whatever you guys, just use your resources, you can get a big pipe. Me, I used a little small, I guess this is like a one and a quarter inch. But make sure that it interfaces with your uh, ratchet and your ratchet handle. Like so. Okay, so the better that this fits, the less hassle you'll have and less wiggle and jiggle. Because usually when you're using this, this is under uh, tight constraints, you know, space constraints. And you want something that is A, functional, and B, not bigger than necessary. You want your tools to help you, not hurt you. Uh, oh, standard set 10 all the way to 19, and here I have a set uh, from 10 all the way, no skips, to uh, 22 millimeter. So, it would be nice as I have a 24, but uh, I can compensate with that. Uh, it would be good to have a, a 24 as well, so keep that in mind. But obviously, you're going to have your goal going into the junkyard anyway. Uh, so, you know, battle up accordingly. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I don't have too many tools. These are picks. I honestly did not use these two too much unless we were actually trying to preserve a part. Um, or, you know, more delicate measures. Um, but usually, like I said, in the junkyard, the most main thing is just get the, get the dang thing off. And the most quintessential tool is the flashlight. You can't see... It sucks, okay? So it's always good to have an uh, excellent light. This is the one that I would recommend. This is a Streamlight Stinger Dual Switch LED. Make sure it has the C4 LED. But yeah, this is an awesome light. I prefer the dual switch, but that'll be another video. So here you go, guys. Uh, this is just a quick tour of my little box. As you can see, you don't need to have high dollar tools, especially when you're at the junkyard, because most of that stuff you're working on is junk anyway, right? So, just bring what you need, nothing more, nothing less. If you want any additional recommendations, I would say, well, this is before I had money for cordless tools. I would get a cordless 3 8 cordless, cordless ratchets, and an impact. But if you guys are stringing on a crazy budget, as you can see, you could get by, man. You could get by. So, I know enough of the rambling. Guys, enjoy your day. Cheers.